Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to use Vision and stay tuned towards the end of the video as I show you how to export and compose Vision animation in Vray 5 for SketchUp. Now Vray Vision is a rasterization based render viewer that performs like a lightweight game engine to help you better explore your 3D models in real time. You can also render still images, export animations, and spherical panorama images up to 8K. To launch Vision, you want to hit this icon on the V-Ray main toolbar, and by default, Vision is fully interactive with your SketchUp model. You will notice on this very first icon that the circles are connected, letting you know that the live link is active, so any camera movements and 3D modeling will be updated in real time. And to disable the live link, you can always click on the launch button or any of the V-Ray render buttons. Now Vision is going to remain loaded with the current model as you continue to make updates. And once you're ready, hit the launch button again to make sure that it updates in real time. Now anytime you want to close the Vision application, just head over to the corner of the window and click on the X button. Now everything about how to use Vision can be found inside this information panel, so be sure to refer to this section to review any of the shortcuts or when you're unsure how things work. The live link parameter lets you enable and disable the link with the SketchUp camera, which is great for you to continue to make modeling updates without Vision following your camera movements. And similarly, you can also enable and disable the live link with the V-Ray Sun parameters. Now this next icon is for the resolution mode and you have two options, the fit in window option, which can let you resize and stretch the vision window all types of way and everything is just going to fit within. And the other option is to match the scene aspect, which lets you match the aspect ratio from the V-Ray setting output. Next, we got two navigation modes to explore your 3D model. Orbit mode uses your mouse to perform the basic movements. So you can right click to zoom in and out on a point. Use the left click to orbit around the point and use the wheel to pan and zoom around your model. Now the fly mode is a little bit more advanced which includes these keyboard shortcuts to walk and fly around your model while still using the mouse for rotational movements. And it sort of gives you that first person shooter video game feel. Now this next icon is for the outer exposure, which lets vision take care of the exposure of the scene. And when you disable the auto exposure, it lets you control the exposure of the scene through the camera basics and advanced parameters. Next, we have some settings to improve the movement and real-time feedback. For example, you have some optimization parameters when using proxies and some to optimize the shadows in your scene. But in particular, the fly mode settings will help you to adjust the speed to which you move around, the mouse sensitivity, and the movement delay feedbacks. Next, you have some color correction controls, which is always nice to have, so you can adjust your exposure, the contrast and saturations, just in case you're trying to go for a certain look and feel to your images. You 
here you have your saving options to save still images and spherical panorama so first you want to select the location of where to save your images and you also want to choose the file format as for the resolution mode you can choose to either match the vision window or to match the VOA setting output and if needed, you can always adjust the slider for the size multiplier to increase the final output up to 8K. As for the super sampling, this is going to help remove pixelated edges, but beware that the larger this value, the more video memory is required and the longer it's going to take to render. And that's really all you need to export still images, so you can just press export and you should be able to get your render within a few seconds. Now if you're going for a spherical panorama, you want to make sure your camera is well positioned in the model. You want to check this option here, follow all the other steps and you should be able to export a 360 image as well. Now let's try to export an animation straight out of your vision. For now, you can only export image sequence animations, which you can compose in a third party video editing like Final Cut or Adobe Premiere. For your first step, you want to set up a SketchUp animation between two scenes. And you want to be sure to check your animation settings for your scene transition and delay so that you can set up the timing of your animation. Next, you want to enable the animation in the V-Ray settings. And this is going to enable the playback control so you can preview your animation inside Vision. And now let's go back to our export settings and you want to be sure to check all of your parameters to make sure that they are correct. So I'm going to keep my ratio to 16 by 9. Next you want to select the animation option and here you can leave it at 30 frames per second or you can double up to 60 frames per second for a smoother animation. However, this may slow down your rendering time just a bit. Now for these next steps, you're going to need an editing software that can import image sequence animation. I'll have some additional tutorials linked in the description to help you guys out with this step. But let's open Adobe Premiere and create a new project. And right here in the project panel is where we're going to import our image sequence. So right click and import, find where you saved your image sequence animation. And you want to make sure you select the very first frame or image and you want to be sure that the image sequence option is selected so that Premiere can recognize all the other images as part of the sequence. So you want to click import and now you can drag and drop the whole sequence into the timeline and edit as a video. To export the video, you can go to File, Export Media. Now I already have a preset for my export settings, but don't worry, I have another tutorial in the description so, so that you can create your own preset. And now you can export this animation in video format. And this video is part of the VRA 5 playlist on the channel. So I have a card somewhere on the corner of the screen so that you can check out some of our other videos of this series. And with that, we're going to bring this tutorial to an end. Be sure to check the links in the description below to try the Verify for SketchUp for 30 days. As always, be sure to like the video, share, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time.